Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to sell my Motorcycle Club product in a public lobby with over 26 people in it. I'm going to be showcasing some of the tips and tricks I use to sell in public lobbies, as there were quite a few people asking me how I do it. So in today's video, I'll be showcasing just exactly what to do, and some of these tips are, they're a little unconventional, but I've had pretty good success with them, so hopefully you will too. Let's get straight into it. the biggest bits of advice I can start the video off when it comes to selling your motorcycle product in a public session is looking at where the majority of the people in a session are. For example, we can see right now during my helicopter sale mission, uh, let me slow down my helicopter a bit so we don't crash, but taking a look at the lobby, we can see that the majority of the players, as expected, are in the city. And looking over at Sandy Shores and all the way at Polito Bay, there's literally nobody. Now you'll notice that this is a fairly populated lobby, probably around 20-ish people in the lobby lobby. But as normal and as expected, the majority of these players are going to be in the city. If you find a lobby like the one I'm currently in, then you shouldn't have to worry too much about selling your product because a lot of the people that are going to try and blow it up, you will see making their way over to your product, giving you plenty of time to figure out what you're going to do. Well, of course, I was going to showcase how to do a sale mission, but in return, it seems like my business is being raided. Welcome to motorcycle clubs, ladies and gentlemen. At least it's not a ghost raid, so I guess it's not the end of the world, but I'm gonna go do this very quickly, and then I'll make my way back to selling. Alright, well that was a bit annoying, but we were able to complete this, so not all too bad. We're just gonna deliver our testimony to the business. There you go. Now, speaking of the business, we are going to start off by selling our Coke lockup. This obviously has a lot of product in it, and hopefully the game's going to let me get in here in just a moment and sell it. $700,000 worth of product, and we are going to sell all of this to Los Santos, which should be worth quite a bit. Yeah, $1,050,000. With the high demand bonus, that's around $1.5 million, which is a pretty insane amount when you think about it. So, let's see what our delivery vehicle is. Post-op vans are obviously the worst, followed by Trash Master. You do have planes, which are also pretty bad, but not the end of the world. And we have motorcycles. Now, motorcycles aren't actually terrible. And as long as you don't enter them, they're actually not going to be on the map. I'm going to showcase a way that you can actually get these motorcycles delivered a lot faster, but also a weird way. If you go to vehicles and you go to your aircraft, you can scroll through until you find either the Titan or the Bombushka. We're going to do the Titan because this one's a little cheaper and a lot easier for everybody to do. We are then going to get into our Titan and fly it over to our Coke lockup. Now, this is a bit sus because of the spot I'm going to try and land it. I'm going to try and land right around here. I don't know if we can actually do this but I guess I'm gonna find out. All right, here we go, coming in for the landing. Let's sew our Titan down a bit, and hopefully we don't crash or anything like that. A little bit hard, but you know what? Nothing we can't handle. All right, we are in prime takeoff position. This is gonna be really, really sketchy, but if this works, it's gonna actually be pretty fantastic. So if you scroll through your interaction menu, you can see vehicle doors, and we can open the cargo ramp. And as you can see, just like that, the back of the Titan's cargo door has been opened. So you can probably guess what we're going to do. All right, just like that, all the motorcycles have been loaded into the back of the Titan. Now we are gonna go to vehicles, we're gonna scroll the doors and press none. As you can see, it is going to raise the Titan's door until it's closed. So at this point, all we have to do is get into the Titan and fly it near the city. We're probably gonna land Eh, maybe we'll drop the bikes off right around here. And then once the bikes are dropped off, all we need to do is deliver them to the destination. Now, this is a bit sus. You can imagine that, yeah, it's, it's kind of sketchy to do this. The noises that are coming out of the back of the Titan are not the most glorious. But just like that, we have been able to get into the air. Now, I know this sounds really stupid, but unironically, this can work. If you don't want your vehicles to be all separated and you want to deliver them all at once, this is a way that you can do it. You can also do it with the Bombushka. Now, again, the vehicles are going to take some damage in the back of your Titan. But the good news is that because they are somewhat armored motorcycles that can survive a couple explosions, they really shouldn't have too much of a problem. Oh boy, those noises, though, are not very pretty. At this point, we have made it over the mountains, so not too bad. And as you can see, it's only been about seven minutes as it is on this mission. So we are going to pick a drop-off spot, as I said. I'm thinking, hmm... Probably somewhere 
we're gonna go right around here. I'm thinking this area right here looks fine to me. So let's go over to that destination. Hopefully that oppressor doesn't try to mess with us. I see him. Don't you come near me, buddy. You just, yep, keep flying over there. I'm a chill human. Don't worry about me. All right, we're all good. Oh, there's two more oppressors near us, bruh. All right, well, that's kind of sucky, but you know what? As long as we can, uh, as long as we can do this, I'm fine. So let's keep on going. Let's go over to the destination that I have in mind, and let's go drop off the motorcycles. The fact that this is actually working is so stupid. So at this point, we're just going to slow down a bit. All right, and let's go to vehicles. We're going to go to doors and cargo ramp. Open. Just like that, all the bikes should hopefully fall out. Come on, fall out. There's one, there's two, three, and four. Done. All right, well, just like that, as you can see, all of our motorcycles are now at the city. So now these deliveries are going to be really fast. This one is only one mile away. I mean, sure, again, this is kind of a sus way to do the deliveries. But if you do want to have all your motorcycles in the general vicinity of where your drop-offs are going to be and only have to drive about one mile, then this is a very easy way to do that. All right, and just like that, our first delivery has been completed. There's nobody near our product as of right now, so we should be completely fine. Another delivery about to be completed. Let's roll in here and... All right, that was pretty easy. Just like that, we only have one mile left for our last delivery. Delivery, and this is really really easy. We do have somebody on a speedo custom right next to us But I'm willing to take that risk and just drive right past. That's not a speedo custom. That's a Granger. Well, same thing He's trying to shoot at me, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? He's got his front mounted machine guns And he really thinks that's gonna take me out. All right Well, there are a lot of people near us, which is obviously pretty sus had to deal with a minor inconvenience being an oppressor mark 2 player But just like that they're dead and we're about to do our last delivery This is why I like to keep all of my bikes closed clump together because if somebody does try killing me I can very easily get back to the other bikes before maybe they want to blow the other ones up so just like that all we need to do is make our way into the vehicle and delivery is done 1.575 million dollars and just like that you can see that sure it's a little bit of a sus method and there are probably better ways out there to do deliveries but this did end up working, and it did make the sail mission about four minutes faster because of the fact I was able to bring all the bikes over in one giant clump. So, it does take a bit of effort, and obviously, not everybody's gonna have a Titan or something ready to just put the vehicles in. But, I figured that if anybody out there wanted a cool and unique way to sell all of your vehicles at once in a public lobby, this is the way to do it. Now, normally, I would suggest to drop your motorcycles off somewhere around here in the center of the city, but if there's a lot of people, like there are currently near the center, of the city, then usually I say it's a bit more safe if you put them like right near the city, somewhere up here where people aren't normally going to go, and it's going to give you time to catch up to them if they try getting to your vehicles. Next up on the chopping block, we have our math lab. This is not my favorite business, but it still does hold a lot of money, $892,000. So we should hopefully be able to get some of that back right now. We have to do the helicopter sail mission, and this one's actually really easy. I'm gonna call in a helicopter to then make my way over to more helicopters. And just like that, we're completely done with the sale mission. $1.33 million. An absolutely crazy amount to add to our bank account. And once again, we can see just how much motorcycle clubs suck by having to literally fight a bunch of people for my products. About 20% eh, of my product was lost in my current business because of the fact that I had to fly all the way over here just from completing my previous sale mission, so that's incredibly fun. I don't even know which business it was. Hopefully not the one we're about to sell, but either way, I'm gonna sell my businesses so I don't have to worry about motorcycle clubs in the future. All right, well, we have our counterfeit cash, which as you can see, we literally just scraped the edge of supplies we needed to fill it completely up. Counterfeit cash, we're gonna make $735,000 with the sale mission, which is not too bad. We'll make about 350-ish thousand bonus from this lobby. This one, we have to enter a boat, which is actually pretty easy. Boats are great for a lot of reasons, but the main reason why it's actually fantastic to use boats it's down to the fact they're usually in the middle of nowhere i mean you can see the current spot we're at is literally completely away from where everybody else is we're on the edge of the coastline so because of this we don't really have to worry about anybody trying to blow up our product or anything like that we just need to make our way over to the first destination and we will be done so let's go finish all these sail missions
And just like that, we're basically done with our boat sail mission. As you can see, there's still a crazy amount of people in this lobby. I would say this is basically a full lobby, but nobody really cares about boats. They're so far away. Again, look at how far away I am from really anybody in the lobby. So for the most part, people just don't care about the boat mission. This is definitely one to be happy you get when it comes to motorcycle clubs. There's nothing that tries to kill you. You don't have to use vehicles or anything like that. So done. We made $1.13 million and yeah, that was actually pretty easy. As predicted, we can see that the business we had raided, or not necessarily raided, but lost a teeny bit of product on, was the weed farm. Thankfully, it's barely even a noticeable amount, so we are all good. We still have 414,000, which is 622,000 if we sell to Los Santos. So let's see what exactly we have to do. It's enter the truck. Okay, well that's just an absolute win. So we've gone over a few of the sail missions. We've had helicopters, motorcycles, boats, and as well, the truck. Which leaves still a few left. We have the trash masters, we have the post-op vans, and we have the planes. Now the planes are not too bad because you are obviously flying a vehicle and they're pretty easy to complete. Especially once you've completed your mission for the first plane and you have to go fly back to the other two. You can just use fast traveling methods or call out your sparrow and you'll get back fairly fast. So planes are pretty easy. That one, there's not too much advice I can give. The Trash Master and the Post Op Vans, if you're trying to sell in a public lobby, I honestly have one bit of advice, and it's literally to just not sell them in public lobbies. That is the best advice I can give you. If you are thinking that you can sell a post-op van in a public lobby, you're going to be a lot better off just going to press online, find new session, and go into a new public lobby. You're going to lose about 5%, which is like $20,000 worth of product, which really isn't that big of a deal. You can do a payphone hit to make that money back. And skipping that sale mission, you might get motorcycles or something different, but again, post-op vans just aren't worth it. At best, you're going to complete them with like 20 to 30 seconds left, and that's without counting anybody in the lobby, again, a public lobby like this, I guarantee selling post-op vans, you're going to run into people that want to kill you. And it's very easy to kill you, because not only do you have to drive to each destination, but you can't even drop them off. You have to actually get out of the vehicle, drop the parcel at the floor, and then go back into your van and do it again and again. That sucks. It's a waste of time. The Trash Masters are a bit better, because you don't have to get out of the vehicle, and it's quite a bit faster than the post-op van, actually making the missions quite doable. The problem is, again, you're in a garbage truck in a public lobby, and for the most part, people do have a pretty high chance of killing you if they really want to. So my biggest bit of advice is skip the post-op van, skip the Trash Master. All the others are very easy. Motorcycles, you don't even need to use a Titan or any sort of, you know, way to get them over to the city. You can just drive them manually if there's not a lot of people in the lobby you're going to have to worry about, especially, again, if you do fast traveling methods. But for the most part, hopefully today's video helped out on the main ways of making money. As we can see, the single truck is obviously the easiest of all the deliveries. There are people around us. I mean, there's somebody right above us, but I could really care less. We have our sticky bombs out. In fact, while we're driving here, let's go to inventory, ammo, and let's purchase all my ammo for $46,000. That way, if anybody does come near us, we have a full plethora of sticky bombs to throw at our opponents. So we got 0.5 miles left before we get there. And yeah, I mean, this is just incredibly easy. Today was one of the easier days I've had for sale missions when it comes to the motorcycle club, but that makes sense because... The motorcycle club really is not the worst business, but it's really just the sale missions and the raids that I hate. Those are the problems. If the businesses didn't get raided nearly as much, I wouldn't be as mad. But it's the fact that you do get post-op vans, which kind of suck. Either way, just like that, we made $933,000, which is actually quite a bit. So today, we've made at least $4 million. We made $1.6 million from our Coca-Cola. We made $1.3 million or something like that from our Math Lab. So that right there is already $3 mil. Add on this and the counterfeit cash. And yeah, we made around $4 million today. So not too bad at all. As you can see, I got a boatload of money in my account at $108 million. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And if you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.